Oh, where they Captain Lovewell came with fifty men from Dunstable. The cruel Pequot tribe to tame with arms and bloodshed terrible. And on their eighty engines rose who hid themselves in ambush dread. Their knives they shook, their guns they aimed, the famous Porgus at their head. What means this dance, this powwow dance, stern Wyman said, this wondrous art. He crept full near, his musket aimed, and shot the leader through the heart. Fight on, fight on, brave love well cried, fight on while heaven shall give you breath. An engine ball then pierced him through, and love well closed his eyes in death. Twas Paugus led the Pequot tribe, as runs the fox would Paugus run. As howls the wild wolf, would he howl? A large bear skin had Porgus on. But Chamberlain of Dunstable, one whom a savage ne'er shall slay, met Porgus by the water side and shot him dead upon that day. The ambush uh, was painted by John Buxton, and this is one of the thumbnail sketches he made of one of the Indians uh, laying in wait for uh, Captain John Lovewell. Uh, this next uh, thumb is of uh, Captain Lovewell uh, on the uh, right side, and uh, some uh, you know type of clothing from that period uh, that he had done for research uh, on for this painting. This uh, is the painting in place in uh, a lodge uh, owned by Cap, uh, not Captain Lovewell, but John Lovewell, the present John Lovewell in, in Lake Tahoe, California. Ah, many a wife does rend her hair, and many a child cries, woe is me. There, here it is again, and uh, you can see to the uh, left a trunk in front of the windows. That's where my bronze is going to go, right behind that trunk, in his office at that lodge in Tahoe. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. I uh, have a banner program on my printing program. I have a program called Printmaster Gold. I got a picture of the club butt r rifle, and all I do is expand it. It expands it out onto two sheets of paper instead of just one. Okay, the ruler that I had, uh, fo you know, scanned into the computer and put into the uh, page was actually set up for a smaller uh, measurement for a head uh, measurement of six and a half. I, I put the edge of the ruler, which is uh, the beginning of the one inch, on the uh, bottom of the page, or on one side of the page, and it, since I'm stretching it, it adds another page, but uh, the line here, right where the uh, 11 inches is, let's see, the line right here, is the top part, of the, or the uh, other edge of the uh, page, and I just expand the uh, ruler till it's uh, 11 inches. And where that line is, and that automatically scales the ruler to the exact uh, size of a ruler. So uh, now this ruler here, since it is going to be half, uh, I'll take the uh, ruler and go down till, uh, let's see, was it uh, 11 inches lines up with five and a half. So, I'm just, I think you can see what I'm doing. I hope so. It's not hard, it's just uh, not rocket science. It's just reducing the size down to, and it, it takes a little bit of playing around with it. Let's see, there's the five and a half, and I want it to, or the 11, I want at the five and a half, so I'll just keep going down until it is. All right, that's uh, what I got there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this out just to make sure I got the uh, measurement right. Zoom back so I got room. Now I'll take this ruler and I'll copy. And hopefully it'll 
paste. Yeah, it does it exactly the same size. So now I just have to do 77 inches and then bring the rifle picture back on and uh, it'll be automatically scaled to half scale. All right, I'll be right back. All right, on a banner program, on my printing program, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and five, six feet, five inches, and that's about how the length of the uh, the rifle, uh, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and 72, plus five inches, which makes 77 inches, not the rifle, the musket. Always say musket, David. Never say rifle when we're pertaining to a musket. Okay. Line the bottom of the barrel up to the 12 inch there and bring the barrel right to the edge right there. Now I just have to move all these off of here because I've got the measurement already measured out. So I move it off the banner like that and then I put the rifle, the musket, up on the thing. Now the musket is automatically scaled to half life size. So let's print it out and see what it looks like. All right, this is the musket that I'm going to be doing. This is going to be the barrel of that musket. It's, uh, I don't know what size, wooden dowel, but I took the uh, picture to uh, true value and found a uh, wooden dowel that matches real close the uh, uh, diameter of the uh, musket barrel. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is cut this out of uh, my print here. <coughs> Move this out of the way. And lay this on the board here. So that's the size of musket that I'm going to be doing right there. Scaled and everything. And uh, figure out. Now see this is blown up to the uh, right size too so I can see where the barrel ends and it's right there. Uh, it goes to right there. So what I did is I uh, took an eighth inch uh, drill bit and started a little hole right in the center of uh, the uh, dowel. And now I'm going to take this uh, larger drill bit and, and try to start the bore. need to go very deep I just need to make an indication of the uh, the bore yeah that works. all right I got the uh, bore drilled out and it's not very deep you don't have to have it really deep you just have to have it deep enough to make the indication or at least uh, fool the eye into thinking that it's a, a full bore but you gotta still make a castable so that can't be too thick, deep. And so I've got that done. And it's close to being centered. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to see, but I don't have any other way of doing this. I, I, I withdrew a outline of the uh, butt of the rifle, of the uh, musket, or the fowler. And I put the dial down to see where the bottom of the dowel was so I could have cut out a support for the uh, Barrel. That'll be a little bit of a support, not a big one, but just enough to hold the, the uh, barrel onto the uh, butt of the rifle. And now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw within the lines. I've already started there, and so that I got enough room to put clay on. Okay, I've got the uh, butt of the rifle cut out, as you can see. And that's the basic shape of this, um, not the rifle, the basic shape of the musket with the uh, butt of the, of the uh, musket 
uh, cut out with a, you know, within lines. The reason I'm using the wooden dowel because it's straight. And you try to sculpt a, a barrel uh, that's supposed to look like it's a barrel out of uh, clay. It's just not going to work. So now the next thing is to glue this to the uh, wood dowel. So as you can see, I've got the uh, thing taped down with duct tape and the uh, support for the uh, barrel on the butt, uh, you know, held down as well. Uh, that's just to hold it in place uh, so it, it will uh, harden up and set up overnight. Um, but that's the beginnings of my club butt fowler that I'm making for uh, my sculpture of uh, Captain John Lovewell. And he's going to be holding this uh, fowler in that hand right there, which is not there because I took it off while I worked on the coat. So, till tomorrow, have a great evening everybody and I'll see you tomorrow.